Hi, let's see how to attend an exam in LMS using mobiles. So first you have to open Chrome browser. It should be an updated version. And then type your LMS URL in the address bar. After typing, you will get a window. Click on student. Now you will get a window to type your username and your password. So type your username and password. And then click on login. Now click on the sandwich bar icon on the top left and you will see the menu bar. Click on my courses in it. Now you can see all your courses displayed and you can go to your exam course. Click on the start button on top of the exam course tile. Now you can see your exam instructions. You can read it and when you scroll down, you can see a checkbox. You can click on it and then click on I agree and start exam to start the exam. So now you have started the exam. Now here you can see so many sessions. Multiple choice questions, fill in the blanks, match the following, true or false, descriptive question, etc. You can go to any of the sections by clicking on it, but you have to make sure you have completed all the answers in all the sessions. So first we'll go to multiple choice question session. So we can see a question here. Just like we're doing multiple choice question, you will have a question and options. So you have to click on the correct option. Click on the circle near the correct option. And then click on save and next to submit the answer. So once you have submitted, you can see below on the question palette, the color has changed into green. So now let's go to the next question. Same as we have done, click on the correct option to choose the correct answer. And if you're not sure about this, you can click on mark for review and come back later to change your answer. So you can see below the color has changed into blue since we have marked it for review. So next question again, you have to read the question and click on the correct answer and save and next for submitting the answer. So when we scroll down and see the palette, you can see that there are so many colors. Green color indicate that we have submitted the answer. Blue color indicates that we have marked it for review. And red color indicates that we have not answered it but viewed it. And gray color indicates that we haven't even viewed the question. So we have to make sure that all the palettes have turned into green before we have we are finishing the exam. Okay. So when we click on any question in the palette, we'll go to the respective questions. So you have you can click on the palette to go to the questions also. So when we click on the second question, which we have marked for review, we can go back and change it into the correct answer and click on save and next. So you can see that the palette has turned into green color from blue. So just like that, you can change all the palette into green. That is, you have to submit all the answers before we are quitting the exam. Okay, so we'll go to the next section, which is fill in the blanks question. In fill in the blanks question, we have to just type on the blank spaces. You have to click on the first blank box and then type your answer. Type on the blank spaces provided. And then you can click on save and next to submit the answer. So just like this, you can complete all the questions in the fill in the blank session. You just have to type on the blank spaces provided. So next we'll go to match the following session. Here in match the following, you just have to drag the correct answer near to the respective question. You have to drag and keep it on the respective question 
keep it near to the respective cushions so drag and keep it into the correct space and after doing all the match the following you can click on save and next to submit the answer now let's go to give one board section here in give one board it is given as fill in the blanks so you just have to type the correct answer on the space provided and then click on save and next to submit the answer just like that you can do all the answers in the session you have to complete all the answers i'm not completing all the answers you have to complete all the questions in all the sessions so let's go to true or false session just like we do mcq you just have to read the question and click on either true or false and then click on save and next to submit your answer just like that you can do all the true or false questions in the session so if you have already submitted a question but you want to do it again you can click on the reset option and then you can type your answer once again for all the questions in all the sessions you can click on reset and do your answer again and then click on save and next to submit your answer so this is how we reset your questions next we'll go to descriptive question in descriptive question you will have your question and you will have your answer space provided below so you can either type your answer in the space provided or else you can attach your answer sheet by taking a clear photo or scan photo and attach it so you can either type it on the blank space provided so if it is language subjects you can click on type other language option given and here you can select your language and type it and you can copy it and paste it on your answer space provided else you can attach your answer sheet by clicking on attach file and choosing your file it should be a clear photo or else a scanned photo you can scan your answer sheet using cam scanner application and make sure the file is shown below once you have attached it you can click on view file to view your file now click on save and next to submit the answer so you can either type your answer or else attach your file so now you have submitted your answer this is how we do descriptive questions just like that you can do all the descriptive questions in the session and then you can complete all the sections all the questions and make sure all the palette has turned into green you have to make sure that you have clicked on save and next to submit the answer you can see a timer above the palette so you have to make sure you are finishing the exam before the time ends so to finish exam click on finish exam and if you haven't answered any of the questions it will show like this so you can go back and finish your unanswered and attended questions and then click on finish exam to finish your exam so here you can change the mode into desktop site to view it fully and then click on finish exam so since it is a summative assessment you won't be able to see your results soon after you have finished your exam it will be shown once after the results has published so this is how we attend exam in lms so hope you have all understood thank you